today we are taking on a little project. I think it'll be fairly easy, quick. She always says that. If I were doing it by myself, it would be easy <laughs> and quick. Done. <laughs> yeah. I'll take off. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> so today we decided that um, we're not really digging the setup on our, our dining room no. area. And we want to change it up a little bit. And we figured we'd do that before we actually left and hit the road full time because yeah. we're close to our storage area. We're only about an hour away from our storage area. Mm -hmm. So we could still take this and put it in the storage area. That way, later on, if we do decide to ever trade in the sure. RV or upgrade, we can go back and get that and put this back in the RV if we would need to. But yeah. we're just going to hold on to it just in case anyway. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take out the existing dining room table and the the chairs that we have currently are are stationary they don't yeah. they don't fold up or anything like that so we have the the folding chairs that we used to have with the set mm -hmm. which we put in storage will now go better with what we're gonna have yes so we got those back out of storage because we were close to our storage area yesterday mm -hmm. so we had to pick those up and we have just a bit like a desk yeah which, which is it's gonna fit in there a little differently. We're going to be setting it up to where it's going to be facing out the window instead of the current setup where it's, you know, long ways facing each other. Um, I'll, I'll show you our, our current setup real quick and then I'll show you what we're going to, what we're going to kind of try to do. <laughs> and then we will put together the desk. It's like one of those from Big Lots. Yeah. So it's not like hard to put together. No, and it's light. It's, it's not a, heavy. Yeah, it's a couple little screws and, and yeah. So then on travel days, our, our chairs will fold up and then the table we can strap down. It'll go in the same space mm -hmm. over here. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If we put it together and hate it, and we, we won't do it. Currently, we are, we have not left yet to go right. on our trip to Ohio. Ohio for your family reunion. Yeah. So that's going to be our trial run. So we'll, we're going to take this stuff out. We're going to put it over in Lauren's apartment because Lauren's going to be going with us. Mm -hmm. That way we don't have to go all the way to the storage unit. Because if we go on this trip and we hate it. Yeah. And we want it back the way it was. We can just take the, the table back and then we can put this stuff back in. And we don't have to make much trip back for it. Yeah. So we're going to try it. And it's going to be for about two week period because mm -hmm. we're going to be going up through Tennessee. Uh, up to Ohio, back down through Tennessee. We actually changed our plans up a little bit. Yes, we did. Uh, we were going to stop in Knoxville on the way there and on the way back from Ohio, but we changed it up and on the way back we are going to stop at Pigeon Forge. Yes. And we were only going to stay for a couple of days on the way back in Knoxville, but now we're going to stay for almost a week in Pigeon Forge and hang out. And it's kind of going to be like our last little family vacation yeah. fun time before Lauren starts college and before we actually hit the road full time. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So we're going to show you the current setup and, uh, and then we're going to get to work. So this is our current situation, our current setup. So in the Montana 3121s and the 3120s, this is the standard setup. And these chairs are, are stable, like I said, they don't fold up. They do have some storage in the seating area and there's some storage up under the table here, but we really don't use it at all because we have the covers on the chairs, so it's kind of hard to get to the storage in here. And here, the table was actually leaning a little bit and so we put some like little wooden blocks in here uh, to keep it raised keep, it up. Yeah, to keep it more level. And so when you go to access the storage under here, it kind of messes all that up. So that's another reason why we're kind of thinking to, to change this out. And one of the other reasons is this is where this is where we sit to work and eat. So you know, Leslie was sitting here. She has her laptop here. I sit here. I have my laptop here. And then we when we eat, we eat here. But the problem is is the windows here we want to look out the window we want to see out the window and it just feels it feels a little cramped in, in this space because we got a scout's ramp over here where he likes to climb up and look out the window which um, it kind of gets in the way of, of this chair uh, and then when Lauren's here we have another separate little folding stool type chair where she sits on the end here so with the new setup we'll actually it'll be this way it'll be facing out the window 
but it's not going to be bolted in so if we do ever want to switch it back to this way um, then we can we can have this same setup the table is going to be mm -hmm. a little bit smaller uh, but i think it's going to work a lot better it's going to be more functional for us yeah and and more versatile the only thing with the new setup is we have to figure out what that's going to look like on moving day how to secure that desk and those chairs so that they're not shifting around it'll be inside the slide and the slide moves all the way into the island but we and the, but we just still don't want that jostling around where that could get damaged yeah could get damaged or, or bang around a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to take this table out and put the new table in and we'll see how big of a pain in the butt that's going to be So we got the dining room table out and this is where it used to be. It's a pretty good sized space once you get the table and chairs out of there. And the uh, table and chairs are now over here. But um, it was only 20 screws to get that thing out. So it was really easy to get out. Here's the table that's gonna go in. Like I said, we got it from Big Lots. And um, it's just a, a two drawer desk that sits there. And you put the chairs up underneath it. And this thing was only, uh, 99 bucks, hundred dollars for this. So um, hopefully this will this will work out. We're gonna have pretty limited space over there to to put it together, but we'll make it work. What are you thinking about it, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Give us your honest opinion. I'm angry. We want some true feedback. Okay. All right. This is the setup for for, for travel days. This is what we're gonna try at first, anyway. So, basically, what we did was we we took the table, flipped it upside down, laid it onto the floor with the leg side up and then we took the the chairs which are now the fold-up chairs instead of the stationary ones and the reason we got the fold up is for this uh, very specific reason so that they would fold up and they go right back there now there were holes in the uh, in the sidewall where the original dining room was already mounted so we use we use those holes to um, to put some o-ring screws in there and that's what's holding all of our all of our bungee cords in place so the bungee cords will go up under the table up over there there's one that goes around the uh around the chairs to hold them together and then there's one uh the blue ones on each side which go around the table to keep the table from shifting left to right and then we have a towel between them to keep them from rubbing against each other and causing any damage um, the reason we went with bungee cords instead of uh, ratchet straps is because we thought that the ratchet straps would put too much pressure on this area we want a size larger on the eye hook so that the threads would be a little bit bigger so they wouldn't just pop right back out of there when we when a pressure was applied or, or when something was pulling on it so we figured the bungees would give a little more with the rocking of the rv and it wouldn't rip those out but um we'll tow for our first time with this setup tomorrow and then when we come back in we will see if uh if we had any issues or not and we just got the regular screw eye hooks. I got these at uh, Lowe's, and they were like three or four bucks. And the uh, the green bungee cords are four foot bungees, so they hook in the in the very top hole. They go all the way around the table, underneath both the chairs and the table, and hook into the to the bottom hook down there on both sides. And then the blue bungee cords are three foot bungees, and they hook around the uh, the green bungee, and then they hook down to 
I think the uh, the third hole down there. We made it to Knoxville, and we are proud to report that the the new dining room setup survived the way we had it hooked in there. It is all still tied down. All the eyelets are still attached to the wood back there, and we have towels anywhere where it might rub against anything. Um, and all the bungees are still in place, and nothing really flew around. So that's probably how we're gonna probably how we're gonna roll from now on. Just functionality-wise, we'll have to see how it works out. We're gonna take it on about a two-week trial run up to Ohio and back, mm -hmm. and uh, through Tennessee, and we'll see how we like it. Um, we're already scared. We already got like the next three weeks of Sundays scheduled. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably put this out like midweek sometime mm -hmm. while we're on the road uh, up to Ohio and back because um, see how it's going. Yeah, we want to see how it goes. Plus, we want to see what you guys think about it. Yeah. So if you think it looks terrible or think it's it's not going to work or you know it's a bad idea or if you've tried something like this and it didn't, it work, didn't work, I mean, yeah. tell us why. That way, because you know, when we get back from Ohio. I don't want to put the video out then. Yeah. And then we've already made our decision and already either taken it back or decided to keep it. Yeah. And then once the video publishes, we might get some feedback that we didn't, we asked, think, of. Yeah, we didn't think of. So we'll, we'll probably put it out while we're in route. That way, uh, once we get back here, we can make a good informed mm -hmm. decision on what we're going to do, whether we're going to keep it or not. So if you've done any kind of renovation like this in your RV uh, to your dining room, or if you've replaced your, your dining room table with something else, um, let us know how it worked out for you, if you kept it or you went back to the, the original and why. Mm -hmm. uh, because we're we want to we want to know if yeah. this is going to be a good idea or not. Yeah. Because it might feel like a good idea now, but what we don't want to happen is we don't want to take this after we leave in September and be over in Texas somewhere or something, and Oklahoma, decide. and decide this is not working, and then our table is back in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. That would not. We then we just have to. Then you just you, hey, you made your bid. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ride that joker out until you can come back. Come back. Yeah. And so we don't want to do that. So we want to make sure that it's going to work out. Yeah. But, um, my initial, my initial thought is it, it looks good. Yes. The color of it matches everything really it matches good. Matches well. Yeah. It blends well. Yeah. And the tone. and it, it doesn't feel. Cramped. Yeah. It it feels good. So, we'll see. All right. Scout's giving us the stink eye. It messed with his window time. Yeah. He's just now getting to look out the window. It makes him angry. <laughs> Peeking around. The... What are you doing? And he don't like being recorded anyway. Mm. No. He has the black beard because he's mad. Yeah. He's mad because while we were building, he was stuck over on the, on the couch on his other area over there and he prefers to, to be on the window. ramp out this window and he might be angry too because we have neighbors yeah blocking his view and we didn't have neighbors <laughs> for the last couple of weeks and now he he used to get a good view of the woods back there and now he's got this this uh rv in the way so are you mad because the rv's blocking your view or are you mad because we made you sit over on the couch yes and combination yes. of both <laughs> All right, buddy. We're gonna take the camera off you now because you're all pissed. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, give us your feedback. Let us know what you think. And um, this will come out in midweek, but we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>